Hey everybody, welcome back to Coop the Grill. Today is a real treat. We're going to start cooking ribs. Um, we're smoking them. Thanks, Bo. Bo's excited. So anyways, uh, it's about quarter to nine in the morning. We're pulling the ribs out of the fridge. I got the ribs. A cooking sheet. That's all we really need for right now. We're just going to take them out. We're gonna let them get up to room temperature. I'm just gonna throw them in the oven, leave the oven off, just let them sit there and rest. Uh, I'll come back in about two hours, open the package, I'll show you what to do to prep them, and then we're gonna get them on the smoker. We'll be right back. All right, so our, our ribs are ready to go. They're ready to get seasoned up. Before we start seasoning them, we're gonna get this smoker going. But before I can do that, I need to clean it out because I didn't do that last time. So I'm gonna show you really quick here what we've got so we've got the deflector got all the ashes and stuff from the last couple of cooks pull that off it's not really that bad and it shouldn't be you should clean this out every two or three cooks depending on time really if you're cooking brats and burgers and and you're smoking them uh, or you're cooking them at a higher temperature and you're not really using it for that long uh, you could probably get away with four or five cooks before you clean it out if you're cooking stuff like brisket ribs stuff that's going to cook for six to nine hours uh, two cooks really is is the most I would go between between cleanings. It really doesn't take that long um, And I'm gonna vacuum it out now and I'm gonna get some aluminum foil put over the top It's a lot easier to clean. I'll go over that in a minute Now that we've got the insides clean, we have to clean the grill itself. We gotta get the pellet smoker started. So I've got the smoker plugged in. I'm gonna turn it up to, I'm gonna turn it up to 300 right now just to get some heat heat on there uh, so I can get the, the grill daddy out, clean the grates off. I'm gonna turn it back down to 225 and then I'll pull the ribs out. When you start up a pellet smoker, something I didn't know the first time I did this was you want to leave the lid open so you can see I've got the lid open actually this one can get closed I don't need that open anymore so I've got the lid open the lid open because the white smoke that first comes out of this is actually flammable and when the wood pellets ignite it can make the lid fly open it was, uh, it was a little bit scary at first and a little comical afterwards but I won't make that mistake again. So we leave it open, we wait until the smoke comes out, it starts to roll, you'll see a nice rolling smoke. That's when you close it and you let it heat up. So that's what we're gonna do. Good. All right, so we got the, the pellet smoker getting ready to heat up. Uh, I'm sure it hasn't even started smoking yet. We came in here, we got the ribs. They are at room temperature. So we're gonna open these bad boys up and we're gonna rinse them off and I'm gonna show you how to prep them. So now that we have the ribs out of the package, rinsed off, they're back on here, take a knife. Um, I usually use a steak knife, but this one will work just fine. You want to get in on the small side. You want to get your get your knife on a bone and just kind of ride, ride the bone. You want to stop laughing. Get that out of there. And you want to grab this film and you want to pull this film up. And it might rip a little bit. We'll come back for that part. Do you want to get all of that off of there? We got the film off the back. We're going to flip them over here. And we're going to season them up. Today, we're going to season them with... Famous Dave's Rib Rub, some Cuisinart KC Sweet, 
a little bit of garlic salt, and a little bit of pepper. That's going to be our first rub. So, actually I'm going to go with the garlic salt first. And that's all we really need to do. These bad boys are ready to go on the grill. Let's bring them out there. Come on, Bo. We're back out at the grill. We got the ribs. They're sitting on the table. Temperature's at 278. So we're almost up to our 300 degrees. Once we hit 300, I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna be real quick about it. I'm gonna steam clean the grill with the Grill Daddy. Close the lid. I'm going to turn the temperature back down to 225. We're going to let it sit there. Uh, there's a lot of people that go off of internal temperatures and when to do things. Uh, it's never worked for me. So three hours unwrapped on the grill with the seasonings that we put on there. Three hours later we're going to come back. We're going to take them off. It's back in the house. We're going to add some apple juice, some brown sugar, and some honey. We're going to wrap them up, throw them back on for another three hours. They will be the best ribs you've ever had. Back in a minute. Got Bo out here and he's just a happy puppy. There you go, buddy. He can't wait for the ribs to get done either. He's got so much energy. Come on. Good boy. All right. We're down to 216, so we're gonna take these ribs. We're gonna throw them right on here. Just like that. And now I set a timer for three hours and we'll be back. All right, so it's been three hours. Smoker's holding temperature at 225. We're gonna open this thing up and see what it looks like. We take it out. I've got two layers of aluminum foil. I use two layers because sometimes the bones, when they stick out, will puncture one. It's a lot less likely that they're gonna puncture both layers. Um, and I'll get to that the reason why later. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty good. We're definitely not there yet, but it's well on its way. So we're going to... Yeah, yeah you can see how these bones are really protruding out of here. They're going to pull through that if, uh, if it was only one layer. So we'll put that down. Close the lid, keep the temperature up, and we're going to bring this inside. All right, so we've got some brown sugar and we've got some local wild honey. We're gonna take the brown sugar. Now I don't really like to measure anything with an actual measuring unit. We're just gonna put some on there. Take the honey, nice good drizzle over the top. This is gonna make a really nice glaze straighten out these ribs and I like to buy these little guys these little Minute Maid apple juices just because one of them is about the perfect size for what we're gonna do here um, you can buy a big jug of it usually it ends up going bad here so we just get these little ones and you don't pour it over top of anything pour it right next to it it's just gonna sit in there what this is going to do is going to reintroduce some nice sweet moisture into that meat. Roll it up. And you don't want this to touch the top. You just want to fold it nice and seal everything in. Fold these ends over. And there we go. Back out to the grill. All right, we're back out at the grill. We got our ribs all covered up, seasoned up. We got the extra brown sugar. We got the honey. We got the apple juice on there. We got them all foiled up. Lift this up. We're gonna lift it up, nice and easy. Throw it on there. Close the lid. Keep it at 225. We're gonna set the timer for another three hours. Actually, we're gonna set the timer for two hours because in three hours our ribs are gonna be done. 
We got another good treat today. We're going to do cooler corn. We're going to do mixed vegetables on the gas side of the grill. We're going to pull the cast iron griddle out. It's going to be awesome. All right, so we got about an hour and a half left on our ribs. So I'm going to get the corn going. Uh, to start the corn, I'm going to shuck it. All right, now that we got our corn all shucked, we're going to go boil some water. I've only got nine ears of corn in the cooler, and it's a small cooler. So I don't need to boil that much water, but I pulled out the big pot just because I like it. So there's the big pot. Just as deep as my sink, about 12 inches tall. We're going to fill it about halfway full, throw it on the burner, a little bit of salt in there, get it to a nice boil. As soon as it starts boiling, we're taking it back out to the cooler. We're going to dump it in there, close the lid, and leave it for one hour. After an hour, the cooler corn will be good to go. And it'll stay hot for about five hours after that, depending on your cooler. Um, also depends on how many ears of corn you have in there, how long it takes to cook everything, how much water you put in, all that stuff. But typically about an hour for cook time, about four or five hours, uh, the cooler corn will be good for it. And this is what they call cooler corn. I hope you guys enjoy that too. All right, so we got our pot of water on the boil. Well, it's not quite on the boil yet, but it's definitely starting to steam. It's a good sign. Over here we've got baby bella mushrooms we've got some asparagus and we've got some zucchini fresh from silver creek farms right here in wisconsin good friends of ours we're gonna get all that chopped up and throw in a bowl a little bit of olive oil a little bit of seasonings i'll show you how that goes all right mushrooms are in the strainer cold water spray them off give them a little shake Close the water out of there, and into the bowl. So we've got our asparagus. What we're gonna do before we rinse it off is we're gonna get this prepped. The proper way to get asparagus without getting that woody part in the back end is to take it and snap it. Where it snaps, this stuff's the bad stuff, this stuff's the good stuff. You're getting rid of about half of it, but you don't want woody asparagus. So we're gonna get all this snapped up, And we'll be right back. And in the bowl it goes. Olive oil. I don't measure anything but about a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons. That's about all that I had left in there anyways. You're gonna add some garlic salt. Some famous Dave's steak and burger seasoning. and some Blackstone cheesesteak seasoning. Then we toss. Then we grab a lid. We let that sit in the fridge for anywhere up to an hour. We've only got about 45 minutes left, I think, on our ribs. <clears throat> I'm going to go out and get the gas grill started up, and I'm going to grab the griddle, get throw it on there, get that heated up, and ready for our vegetables. These are going to be all right sitting on the counter for about 5 or 10 minutes with the cover on them, so we'll be back for these in a minute. All right, so sorry I didn't get a video of pouring water in a cooler, but I think you guys can all figure out how to pour water in a cooler. Anyways, the water got to a boil. We took it out here, opened the cooler up, threw it in here. I'm going to open it quick. Got the water, corn. I'm going to leave it closed for at least an hour. All right, so our half hour timer went off. We started up the grill. Uh, we got this all warmed up, ready to go. I put it just below a high heat. I'm going to actually turn it down a little bit more. Beep. 
Bo says it's time for more fetching. Don't you, Bo? Yeah. Go get it. He's so good at that. All right, so we're getting near the end of the cook. It's definitely time to crack a beer. Got to stay hydrated, especially near the end. And it's Oktoberfest season, so cheers. I ran into the house. I grabbed a plate for the vegetables. Bo, you're just gonna have to give me a minute, buddy. Grab a plate for the vegetables. I've got a pan to put the ribs on. But we gotta check them ribs. We're gonna peel this back. We're gonna see how they are. All right, we're gonna peel this back. Be real careful. 225 is uh, still enough to burn your hands, but it's not too terrible. You should be able to grab it really quick. We're just gonna, oh yeah. Those are pretty tender. We've got just a few more minutes. Actually, I'm going to turn the heat up to 250. Ribs are almost done. Veggies are done. Corn, I'm sure, is done. We're going to check on that. We're going to let this stuff sit. All right, well, it's been a full hour since, since I was supposed to pull the ribs off. And I just pulled them off, and they're still not quite as tender as I'd like them to be, but I'm ready to eat. Uh, Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. They're fully cooked. They're going to taste delicious. Bo was excited. Hey. Yeah. He says we got to fetch for a whole extra hour, and now I'm exhausted. There we go. We've got ribs, mixed veggies, garlic bread, and cooler corn. Thanks for watching. We're going to go enjoy dinner right now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Coop to Grill.